Hi channel! Uh, I am back again and we are in the Q100, my uh, favorite. Um, and we are in a new part of the world for, and not not really a new part of the world, but for this channel it is. Uh, we are in FTX Germany North. Uh, and we are in, as you can say, yeah, the, the Q400. We're going to be flying today from uh, uh, Magdeburg, Echo, EDBC, Echo, um, Echo Delta, Bravo, Charlie, uh, to Bremen, Echo Delta Delta, Whiskey, I think, um, which is in uh, on the sort of the, the North Sea coast. This is more sort of inland, not too far from Berlin, actually. We're having some snow here today, but um, you know, not so bad. Um, I'm using Chase Plane, which is kind of giving me some headaches, but also I really do think this is the future. And I am using Pro ATC X for my ATC. So I just actually got clearance. Uh, mistakenly, I got clearance before I started the stream. Um, but that's okay. I think we should be able to get up and running fast enough. But anyway, they gave me my squat code and they gave me my initial climb out, which was going to be 6,000 feet. Um, I haven't programmed the FMS yet. I haven't done really anything yet. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's where we're at. But let's get started. Um, I'm going to turn on. Um, We'll deal with the landing altitude later. Uh, the research and opening those uh, doors so that the first officer can do his checks. Yeah, see, so my planes are a little, now my views are a little bit messed up uh, compared to what uh, they used to be, and um, mostly. Mostly though, it's uh, it's not a big problem. And my view controls are a little bit messed up too, let's put it that way. Um, the nice thing about uh, Chase Plane, I think I mentioned in another uh, stream, is how easy it is to sort of update something. So once I change this camera and I want it to be the FMS, I can just go update the current preset. And I can go in here and I can turn off the track IR for this uh, this particular uh, view, which I want. And and I will update it. There we go. Save that. Cool. Then I have a saved. Um, so, Echo Delta Bravo Charlie, except menu, depart, it will depart runway 8, that's what I think is about, and we will be leaving on the, I kind of feel like he said um, runway 26 now, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, we get to Magdeburg, we will take the M736. M736, and we will take that all the way to Burel. Four. From there on, we will take another airway, which is the Y27. Take that to HLC to here. And from there we will take the L980. And we will take that one stop to the DLE. And from there we'll take the set eighty-eight. And we 
we'll take that to Vered, which is our transition point for Echo Delta Delta Whiskey, Echo Delta Delta Whiskey, and the arrival there will be runway 9. Via the Vera 3P and the approach. Let's do the ILS because it looks like it's pretty crappy outside. And the BMN transition. Okay. Yeah, so only the BMN transition here for the ILS. That's uh, our issue. Cool. That's the flight plan loaded. Let's load the fuel. Today we have a zero fuel weight of 24842. Not so many passengers aboard. We have fuel on board uh, 2107. We have alternate. Two five seven. Hold four four two. And then I have a little bit of extra four four three. Ah, that's it. Uh, we can then go ahead and cross fill number two here. Okay, nav source on this side can go to FMS1, nav source on this side can go to F FMS2, set the GPS landing to 15, I'd just like to do that initially. Let's put the V-speeds in here and then let's get going. Uh, let's get the V-speeds and the weather, rather. 121, 21. Is 131. And let's see what the last one was. 131, 151. I always like it when I get to do all in one row without forgetting. Okay, let's get the weather, shall we? Visibility 3, sky condition 3, 100, scattered ceiling 1,000, 200, broken ceiling 800, overcast, temperature minus 0, dew point minus 1, Q&H 1015, advise on initial contact, you have information, Hotel Echo Delta Bravo Charlie Airport Information, Hotel 0651, Zulu weather wind 247 at 11, visibility 3, sky condition 300 scattered ceiling 1200 broken ceiling 800 overcast temperature minus 0 dew point minus 1 q and h 1015 buys on initial contact you have information hotel echo delta okay it definitely sounds like we'll be taking it from a 26 i think we're just gonna just go ahead and assume that already and uh, we'll do the magi 1k departure then send that to the flight plan instead and we will connect the mag to Rodri. okay that's fine we'll go in here and we'll do data crossfill cross and flight plan okay um Making close to engine intakes. Oh, let's get the APU started.
21.82 and we will not request pushback because we don't need it um, but also I don't actually didn't want to do that just yet I was just trying to close the door but I think I have the door closed enough to my okay the doors are closed Ground Everlane 1 2, request startup. Anthony 1 2, startup is approved. Everlane 1 2. Let's go ahead and we'll get rid of the GPU. Now that we have our APU connected. And let's go ahead and we'll start engine 2. I have um, also recently purchased the Q400 immersion pack from FSFX packages. So, hopefully, there's some like neato effects here. Okay, let's start engine one. So this is, um, 29 Palms version of uh, Magdeburg. I think it's a really nice little uh, airport, actually, really fun to fly in and out of. Gives you sort of good frame rates, too, even though we're not seeing the best frame rates now. I kind of blame that a lot on the weather. But it's neat. It's got these little. You see, you see the windmills over there? Yeah, cool place. What? Pull the struts until the life vest is properly adjusted. On leaving the aircraft, pull the threads tight and the life vest will inflate. Red tubes are located on both sides for blowing the additional. That is the first. For more detailed information, please refer to the safety instruction card in a seat pocket in front of you. Thank you for your attention. What was that? Wow. That is a literal first that I have ever had that happen to me in the sim. And what was that? Uh, the bus tires are on, batteries are on. The ignitions are on, AP is on, bleeds are on. What was that? It seemed almost like it was fuel. Uh, but we have fuel. Valves are closed though. Oh yeah, that those are. And 
that was me. Okay, let's let's try this again. Uh, I am extremely confused. confused let's check the, the switches here So that stop just doing the fuel test stop the APU which is uh, I think the way it's supposed to be here this is this is really cool though I haven't um, this is really cool I've been flying this plane for a long time and and this is the first time it's refused to start on me and I I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it I know it's like we were gonna go fly here but this is uh, it's kind of cooler that we're not gonna go fly when it's this much of a sort of mystery what happened to me. Let's see, did any of the circuit breakers? They all seem good. Alright. I know that they're um, possible for them to pop in this version of the the sim. Yeah, they actually all seem good. Uh, see what the electrical system's like. Maybe I think what we'll do here is we'll request the GP the power cart and we'll see if we can do a start with the power on. Hmm. There's a 
fuel lamps the fuel valves are closed. Question being, how the F do I open them? Uh, that is uh, super, super strange. Let's see. Could it be that we have not? Could it be that we don't have the uh, that we haven't de-iced? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to do some uh, googling, Falcons. I mean, not that I'm kind of surprised. I wouldn't really know how to do this. Uh, but uh, Q400.
Wow, that did the trick. Wow, it was literally icing. Seriously, that was incredible. That is the first time I have seen in the sim. Start engine one. It turns out that those valves that I thought was maybe the fuel valve is just the transfer fu the fuel transfer valve. I can't believe that. That was pretty. That was amazing. Okay. Let's just get to sixty four point one. We're gonna s turn it on and turn on all the DIC features that we have. Maybe not all of them, but we're definitely going to turn on the pitos, the windshield warmer, pilot's windshield warmer side, and we're going to turn on the heaters for the engine intakes, and we're going to turn on Turn on the bleeds, we're gonna set them to min. Heat this inside of this compartment up. And once we have that done, we will disconnect the external power, turn off the main bus tie. And we will say thank you. Okay, it's already gone. And then we will request a taxi to run away. Ground Airline 1-2, request taxi. Airline 1-2, taxi via Charlie November Alpha to runway 26. Via Charlie November Alpha to runway 26, Airline 1-2. Okay, um, let's see, nose wheel steering can come on. Taxi light can come on. Uh, what else do we have wrong up here? Parking brakes on and fuse large doors are open. Uh, let's close the door. Let's imagine that wasn't open. Okay. Um, let's take a look from outside. Since we have this fancy new effect pack, let's see if we can actually get something out of it. My controls are not uh, set. Which is just, just lovely. Jesus Christ, sometimes I hate you prepared. Maybe I'll patch this together and get it started again, or maybe I'll just stop.